YouTube channel, I'm Rosie Henshaw and today I'm bringing you a quick and easy sort of cheap DIY autumn crafts and uh, we're going to meet Bertie as well today so that's really exciting because he's been literally the love of our lives since Thursday evening, we absolutely adore him so grab a little cup of tea, mine's my new little cup that the kids and that got me and it says my mum is wise and beautiful and she loves donuts. <laughs> And it says she likes chips on rainy days on the inside. It's so cute. They got this off Evan Bridge one and I love it. Oh, here he is. I might as well introduce him now. Mine's a tea. Come on then. Come on then, buddy boy. And who is buddy boy? Look. Who's that? Hello. He's like, I don't want to be on the tin. Don't let me on the tin. His little towel. Buddy. Bertie boy, hug, say hello. He's like a little scruffer loves. He's so cute. I literally pick him up of an evening, we watch a little bit of telly, and he lays like this. And I, honestly, he just falls asleep. <gasps> You're biting me. Are you biting me? Mm. He's going through a little nippy stage today because he's teething at the moment. So he's buying everything. Well, I knew you was going to be introducing, so you went to your daddy. <laughs> oh, I love him. He smells so good as well. We've shout, we've bathed him because he comes from the breeders, and I know you're not meant to bath them all the time because of their fur and stuff. And I did Google it and checked, and it said from like seven weeks you can bath them. Um, and he's over eight weeks, so I, I bathed him because he's obviously been around all of his little brothers and sisters and stuff, and he's just a bit smelly. So give him a nice little bath, and he just smells beautiful now. I'm gonna give him a little treat actually. Bye, with a little treat. Here you go, darling. Here you go. Can't see it. Oh, he's found it. So, I'm going to bring you I've got my little tin in front of me just because you'd be able to see then. And um, I'm just going to show you a few little crafts. I basically went to Home Bargains today and I managed to pick up a pack of four plain um, coasters. And they're in this really beautiful colour top. And they're £1.59 for a pack, pack of four. £1.59? Yeah, that is correct. £1.59 for a pack of four. And they're in the Jane Asher range. And the reason I've got those is, one, I find coasters are ideal. A lot of people have them. And if you're not really into a lot of autumn decor, then basically, these are ideal. They're not a lot of money. Then they're a tiny little craft that's going to take quite quick to do. So it's like quite good if you want to just take a bit of time. And also, if you don't want autumn overload in your house like me, like pumpkins and all sorts, coasters are the ideal way because you can have them on your table. They look really cool. So I'm going to start off with one of the coasters. Now, I have met the most amazing well, on, online, like speaking and stuff. I have spoken to the most lovely people since doing YouTube. I cannot believe how lovely and kind some people can be. But one lady in particular, her name's Lizzie Carras. I know her name is Elizabeth, or which is Lizzie Karras or Karras on um, Instagram, and basically that was her name on this. So she sent me out the most amazing napkin. She's from America and she's so kind. She's shown me this craft and it's a fantastic craft, and she sent me them out for this specific purpose. Um, I'm going to be doing that craft in a couple of weeks. I'm waiting for one of the tools to be sent out to me, which I've ordered online. And then I will show you the amazing craft she showed me. But she sent me down these amazing napkins. Now, in America, for decor and sort of like, put, they have like um, Thanksgiving and things like that. It's really big out there. I'm not overly fussed on Halloween. I do do Halloween for the children. I do go a bit out for it. But my main thing that I'm into is like pumpkins and autumn, like more of a seasonal thing rather than it being Halloween. I like pretty pumpkins rather than the sort of scary stuff. And she sent me out these amazing napkins. Like they've got like ones with like the orchard with the pumpkins on, these lovely ones with pumpkins on this side. And then she sent me out some really beautiful like sort of autumnal sort of floral ones that they've got. And some lovely little like flowers. Really, really beautiful. She sent out three envelopes and they're amazing. And they're just such nice napkins. And what I was gonna do with, with these coasters, 
My video is extremely late today. We have been out doing shopping. Kids have been to my daughter have been to theatre club. We had the boys. We took them over to football. Then I got some pie mash. We've had literally a family day out today. My husband's off um, from work for the week, and he works really, really hard. He never hardly has any time off, so we've been really making the most of it. So that's why my video is up late as well. So I do apologise, and I take quick over my toe. So. I'm just going to do a little bit of quick decoupage on this. It's really, really simple, really, really quick to do. All you need is a napkin with a pattern that you like. I'm going to be doing pumpkins. I've just cut it out. Now, these pumpkins are free ply, so you need to sort of separate it so you get the thinnest part of the tissue. And to be honest, if you rip these, the shapes out, they do go better than cutting them, but I just want this video to not be massively, ridiculously long. So you can use decoupage glue, but all I'm going to be using is kids... From b and £2.49, massive, massive pot of it, PVA glue. I always use a foundation brush, you can get these cheap at the pound shop, but it's soft and it's just perfect. I dip it into the PVA glue, pour it in a little pot, dip it into the PVA glue. And on over the coaster, I'm literally just going to paint over the entire coaster with a nice thin layer of PVA glue. And I'm just going to place my pumpkin napkin onto where I'm going to want it to go. And you can mix a little bit of water with this. And then just over the top of the napkin, I'm just going to go over with the PVA glue. Now, because this is a co-star, I would probably recommend using a varnish once this is fully dry. Because when you put like wet or damp cups and stuff like onto it, or they get spilt on, they're easily workable and they're going to be hard wearing. And they just look, the orange just goes so beautifully with that colour top. So I've done a few of these and used the napkins that she sent me. And they've come out like this. We've got little pumpkins. These pumpkins. They're just so, so cute. And they're dry now, so I've got a set of four of these. So they can go on my dining table when people have a little coffee or come in for a cup of tea. And they're just going to look really lovely and autumnal. So easy. It's the cost of a napkin and £1.59 for the coasters. You can get plain wooden ones in the pound shop. I think they're a pack of two, I believe. But they are plain wood, so you're going to have to paint those. But they're really, really cheap to make those. And you could even make those as a little gift, as a little present. Tie them up in a little bit of jute string that you get from the pound shop. Tie them up as a little gift for a friend for Thanksgiving and things like that. Really, really, really cute. Going to get on to another craft. It's basically the same. But does anybody remember, if you watch my... Um, panel and horse and stuff, I bought this sort of little wooden chopping board. So what I've done is the same kind of idea. What I've used is, it's just a tester pot of paint I got in b and I got the Farron ball just because I like the colour bone. So I got this and I just painted this side. I painted it so thinly that you could still see the wood grain so it looks farmhouse. Tied a little bit of jute string around the top from the pound shop and I've done the same thing as I just done with the PVA glue using this tissue that she sent out and how cute does that look it's so autumnal it's so cheap to make and it literally is just going to look so so cute out on the side with the little autumnal things and if you have like a little coffee station where you have like all your syrups and stuff and you have your pumpkin syrups and stuff like that you have that next to a little candle that is just going to look so so cute with the little fresh pumpkins. I'm going to have to grab Bertie because Bertie is having his little tree but I've just noticed my son's left some Lego on the floor. So safety first for Bertie. <laughs> Come here darling. Come here darling. Here you go. Come here darling. My husband's at the park with the kids. We've literally been out all day. We picked up Millie from her like theatre club and now they've gone to the park. So I'm doing a little bit of filming for you. Sorry if it is really late like I said. I'm going to open this little lid, the Farron Ball paint, and I've got a little paintbrush with me. And I also got this from the range. Now this is, it says Wi-Fi password, and this was $1.99 from the range, and it has like a little chalkboard area, and you can write a Wi-Fi on this. I love it because it's kind of like a planked effect. So I have tried to sand the Wi-Fi off, but it isn't really coming off too well. So all I'm going to do is with my bone coloured paint, I'm just going to paint on this nice and thickly let's see if I can do it that way nice and thickly it's a shame really because I wasn't going to sand the little top pattern off because I quite like that but I'm just going to roughly paint this because obviously it is going to be sort of farmhouse chic 
so it hasn't got to be perfect. This is one ninety nine. This is perfect because rather than buying wood and gluing it together to make a plaque or a sign, it's just going to be so much cheaper to do it this way. So I'm just going in all the nooks and crannies. That always makes me laugh, that. Nooks and crannies, I don't know why. It's probably because I've got a ridiculous mind, but that does make me laugh. So I'm just painting over that bit there. I am going a little bit over the chalk bit, but you can just wipe that off with your finger. Oh, it's a bit hard and difficult to do it that way. I'm just gonna, it's because I'm trying to show you at the same time. So I'm just painting this, just like I did with the other one. A bit thickly this one though, because obviously I've got the writing on it. And I'm gonna put that to one side while it's drying in, and it's gonna look really cute. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. So while I carry on with other crafts, just so that you can see how easy it is, just quick and simple to do it. You get pound tester pot from any sort of like DIY stores. They're usually about a pound. <laughs> a bit more too. So they are really, really sweet. Just wanted to show you, this is something that I think is so beautiful. It's like a perfect centerpiece. Sorry, I've got to pour this out, but just had a little fiddle. But basically, this glass cylindrical vase is 3 99 from the range. And uh, I'm lying, home bargains, sorry, home bargains. Now that is by far the cheapest place I've seen these. They have them in beautiful like hurricane shapes, really, really beautiful. The reason I wanted this is because I thought this is gonna be perfect for an autumnal centerpiece. So this was 3 99 and I got a candle for a pound. So obviously this is 4 99 so five pound. That looks really beautiful as it is. All year round, you could put some stones in here, or you could put some like gazoo wrapped around in there, some like little diamantes if you're wanting to like blingy kind of stuff. Tie a ribbon around the bottom of it, or the diamante ribbon. It just looks really beautiful. You have a couple of these on a table. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this autumnal. So what I have is I've been collecting little pine cones with my kids over the park, I've been collecting them. I put them on a baking tray. Put them in the oven at 200 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. It kills any bugs or a bacteria or whatever. You don't have to do that. I just do that. And basically, they've got some different size ones. So I'm just going to put these are free. They just cost nothing. So I just thought I'm just going to stick some in the bottom of there. Just like this. This is such a nice, cheap, easy way to get like a nice little bit of autumn decor. And then if anyone remembers my reef tutorial, if you watched that, autumn reef, I had some... Um, potpourri, it smells like vanilla, and I only use a tiny bit for my wreath, so I've still got this left over, and I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna do a garland video soon, coming up, autumnal garland, which is just, I've got some quirky ideas for that, so hopefully you'll stay tuned for that, but I'm gonna use a little bit out of here, so in there they've got these lovely little, like gold kind of champagne stars, now if you don't wanna pay for potpourri, if you don't have none, you can alternately just paint these, if you want to give it a little bit of color, or you don't really need to, so I'm just going to add a couple of the little goldy ones that come in the potpourri, and it smells amazing. And also in there, they've got these little like barks. They look like a little bark. But yet again, you could pick up some sticks from the park and just cut them down. And you could spray some like nice scent on them, but I'm just going to shake that up a bit, spread it out. And then I'm just going to put a few more pine cones inside. Now, also from the pound shop, from my reef tutorial, I had um, some stems. There was a pound for a stem, and you get four strands on one stem. Well, I've cut them on my stem cutters. I've got four pieces, and I'm just going to add one round that side. Just lower that pine cone, because I can't really see what I'm doing from the front. Lower that pine cone, and I'm just going to trample shut central again. Put a little piece, another piece around that side. Add a few more pine cones to there. So obviously the whole thing costs five pound. If you want to add the stems, it can be six at uh, six pound. Yeah, that's right. Add some more pine cones. They look really cute. And then what I'm going to do is is also add the last pieces of stems. Just build it up. So you can still see the candle, and then fill it up with more pine cones and pieces from the potpourri. And what this ends up like is very much like if you go into places like John Lewis or places like that, they always do like sort of a floral sort of selection. They'd be in like that jelly type material. Now this has cost six pound and I don't think for that size you're gonna get anything that sort of looks as classy 
as large for a nice table centerpiece. And you can put this on a beautiful tray, put this on a mirror tray. This would look so beautiful and it's so, so cheap to make. And if you've got a lantern indoors, you could even put this inside a lantern as opposed to actually putting in a glass jar. You don't have to have a candle if you don't want. And all of them things could be leaves from your garden, pine cones from the park and sticks. You don't have to pay for anything in that. So if you just wanted the candle on this, it can come to like five pound instead. So I just think that's really lovely. Lovely little centerpiece. And I'm gonna put this on a tray with a few pumpkins. And that's just gonna look really sweet. I wanted to show you as well, because I thought these were really cute to use for pine cones. I see these in a shop called The Works. It's a bit like a craft shop and bookshop, but these were a pound each, and they're like the willow type roofs. So if you wanted to do my roof tutorial, these are the smaller versions, but you can make a little small version, or you could make them and put a candle in the middle of them once you've roofed them up. But what I'm gonna use these for is I'm gonna use some of the pine cones that I got for free, and I'm gonna use some florist wire, and I'm just going to tie these on all the way round, and I'm gonna have these as little wreaths to go on some of the doors around the house for autumn, and I just think they look really cute. So there's two of those, and that, obviously if they're a pound each, I've got those, and I just thought they were really, really cute. Wanted to let you know as well, because I know anyone that loves autumn and you wanna get craft stuff, Hobby Craft do do paper mache and ceramic pumpkins, but they're about four or five pound, in the range, in the Halloween section, they've got paper mache pumpkins and they are $1.99 for this size. I have started putting jute string around the top of it because I like to make that rustic and started like gluing that on. So they are just sort of this colour. But I do a few crafts up the table, so that's what's happening. I wanted to show you as well, I got this from the range. This was £12. It's a big chunky frame. It had a big picture of an artichoke inside it and I've basically sanded it off and it's left this sort of rustic look. But it is very, very chunky and the back don't come out. It's sort of stapled in. So you could use a regular frame, take the glass and the paper out, stick the back in back in to use this. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna like rustically sort of like paint the back in on. And then what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna paint a pumpkin on this in like a sagey green color to sort of have out here and write like give thanks. If you want to see what that looks like, I'm not going to be able to do it in a video because I've physically got nothing to lean this against while I paint it and do it properly. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, which is Rosie Henshaw Home, I'll put it in the description box below. I can't link it because I can't link anything because I'm terrible with tech, but you'll be able to see what this looks like. But this even gave me an idea. You could even use something like this as a tray. So like if you did want to use this as like a centerpiece, I don't know why I painted that because I'm sticking that on top now. And you could have some of like, you know like the homemade pumpkins that I showed you how to make, the fabric pumpkins in my tutorial. You could put some like pumpkins. You could even use these reefs. So I'll put the reefs down, the pumpkin inside. Make it look super autumnal, stick a few more pine cones on it and have this on a table. It would just look really, really sweet. So I thought I'd show you that as well. And what I'm gonna use to draw the pumpkin is, I'm not the most amazing artist, so for 39p in the range, they've got their Halloween decorations. 39p is a pumpkin, so I'm gonna use this as the outline. So I'm gonna draw around this shape, and then I'm gonna just sort of draw the lines, not having the face on it, and then I'm gonna paint it in like a sage green, just some highlights on it, so. That'll be in a few days, just because I haven't really had the time with Bertie running around, pooing and weeing, and having to look after him with the children. Battery again, what a shocker. So I haven't really had the time, so I'm gonna sit down one night, have a nice little cup of tea and just get on with it. So another thing I wanted to quickly show you is, I did say in my last video, it hadn't come my TK Maxx order for my large wicker pumpkin. When well, it came today, and I tell you what, it is huge. Look at the size of this beautiful pumpkin. 12 dollars from TK Maxx, these are online. They do do a smaller one as well, but they're 9 dollars which and they're a lot smaller. Look how big this is. How lovely this is gonna look with some like, little battery operated fairy lights inside of it. So cute, it really goes with my decor. I just can't wait to have that out. So I had to show you that because I know if anyone's got pumpkin appreciation, you're gonna proper love it. So also as well, where's that gone? Oh, where's it gone? In Home Bargains, in the wedding area, they've got this little easel and it comes with like a little chalkboard on it for £1.29. And I thought you could write little memos, shopping lists on this, anything you wanted. But I thought, how cute would this look? If you use a little chalk pen, you can get these from the range for 1.99. I got mine off of eBay for 99p. 
a long time ago. But you could write little autumnal messages on it, like thankful, harvest, blah, 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 and stick it on and just have it out as your front door. Right, these are just like cute little, I'm really bad at fancy writing, by the way, so. Give thanks, and you could sort of do like, you know, them swirly, I'm really bad at fancy writing, but you know, you get the, you get the idea. And you could have that out. Or you could even have something like, happy fall, a happy Easter. <laughs> happy Easter, it's Halloween. No, you could have like, take one sweet please, and have like a jar full of candy and put that next to it and stuff. It just looks really, really cute. So now this is dry, this is my last little tiny craft. It's basically all little signs and stuff, which is self-explanatory. But I thought I would write something on it. Like something really quirky. Like as if it is for sale. So pumpkins. And obviously dollars sound more cute, I find. You could have like two dollars. Does the dollar come after in America? Because the pound sign comes before the, the actual number. You could have something like this and you could definitely take another one of my little decoupage napkins, take the layer off of it. And I'm just gonna cut a little bit more out. And you can have, I'm gonna end up having these literally around the whole of the house because it's such a cute little idea just decoupaging. I love it. And I'm gonna just get a little bit of my glue with my foundation brush, which is so silly. I don't know why I'm using a foundation brush. But that paint dries so quickly. That's the only thing with Farron Bowl I find. They are really good and they dry super, super quick. So I'm just gonna put a little picture of the harvest one on. I don't know, and then sort of smooth over it with the glue. You can, I wouldn't, you don't think you necessarily, just stop trying to speak Rosie. <laughs> I don't think you necessarily need to varnish these ones if I'm honest, and the reason being is just because you're not gonna have anything on these. And then do you know what I am gonna do? Just to give it that little extra pizzazz, I'm going to get another one of the little pumpkin ones out. These are so cute. If you have any signs or anything that you don't really want, or if you go to like a charity shop, Sometimes they have like the weirdest signs, like, I don't know, like, booze station and things like that. And something that's like, sometimes they have a bit naff and you might not necessarily like them, but you can get them. There's my little scissors gone. Dog no. You can get them and paint them quickly with a tester pot or any leftover paint that you have and just napkins galore them up, like really like napkin them up. And you can overlap these as well. So I'm just going to put like, little pumpkin there, I might just add this up, put like more pumpkins. And when this dries, it will look like it's kind of been painted on. And it just looks really, really cute. And you can put like more on it or some like leaves. It just looks really, really sweet. And you can always tie a little bit of jute, like a little bow for the top of it. Really, really sweet. And you can, you can get a glue gun if you want, but these will PVA glue on as well. Bertie, as we speak, is literally, I'm just gonna put a big blob of PVA glue on the top of this. This will have to be held flat for it to stick to it, but you can literally just go for it and just stick them up. Or you could like give thanks or anything, or you could just paint over that if you wanted to. And then it's just gonna be all around the house, all of the signs, all of my little white coasters. They just look so sweet. They're just gonna be everywhere. Just a little bit of decoupaging and the little signs. And you could even decoupage on this as well if you wanted to really really sweet so that is my video for today i'm gonna to pick Bert Bertie Bertie come here where are you Bertie where is your Bertie boy hello where are you Bertie 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 going to my hair now. That's his usual thing. That is why my hair looks so scruffy again. I've been using him as an excuse now. I'm going to be like, oh, he chews my hair. So we're going to go and have cuddles now, aren't we? While, the, while daddy's with the children. While daddy's with the children that keep picking you up. Oh my goodness. I'm like, put them down, put them down. One lady actually messaged me. She was like, 
I have to tell my grandchildren all the time. How many times do you have to tell your children like all the time? They just literally see him as a little teddy bear. And he's like chewing my fingers at the minute because he's teething. You're so cute. You're like a little teddy bear. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Next week I'm going to be doing children's arts and crafts autumn ones, which basically cost nothing. It's going to be everything you can use for free. And there's only one thing that I need that costs money, but you can literally pick them up for a pound. So hopefully you'll want to watch that because it's really good fun for the kids to do or if you have grandchildren or they're even just fun for you to make. They're really lovely little crafts. But the reason I'm doing them is I got requested by a teacher. She basically said, what sort of crafts would you do for autumnal things for the children? And I said, I've got a video coming up. I'm going to do it just before sort of like the end of the holidays so there's enough time to make them with the children. <laughs> Chew my hair. Um, that's dangerous for you, darling. No, Baba. <laughs> And um, yeah, and it's nearer autumn, so I'm not pushing it too much on you, even though I've been wearing Christmas jumpers and all sorts in my halls. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Sorry if this video went on a little bit long, but obviously whenever I'm talking about autumn, we get a little bit carried away. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like it and leave a lovely comment. Thank you so much for the comments all before. So, so kind. And I will be linking, not linking, writing in the description box my Instagram as well if you want to follow me on there. So take care, have a lovely rest of your week. Bye!